Now, welcome everybody to the chapter 18 PTB. We're gonna be trying out the new killer. Their name is The Twins. We also have the new survivor, uh, Elodie Rakoto. It's a French character. And we'll be seeing all the perks in actions, the Mori, the upgraded Ormond map. We're gonna do it all, so let's just jump into it. Uh, you'll find timestamps in the description that I'll try to update as quickly as possible if you're watching this on YouTube so that you can skip to the part that you're most interested in. But what is the scalar all about? Uh, this is the power. We got the description here. Uh, basically, this is a normal killer, 32 meter terror radius, 115, so it's a basic M1 killer. But on top of that, there is a baby, like a little twin brother called Victor that Charlotte, the bigger character, can send out. And you can control this baby. Uh, and basically use it to attack survivors and either down them or if they're healthy latch onto them and you know uh, Hinder them. It sounds really really cool and Yeah, the survivors can literally smash the baby into the ground as well if he's vulnerable and it just sounds really 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 funny uh, We'll go over the perks as well and oh my god. They actually brought back the excavator thing. That's great This is new Ormond by the way Looking pretty damn good, isn't it? Damn! Yeah, this used to be in, in, in Ormond, but it was removed at some point. Oh, you don't go inside it. Okay. Cool. Right, so let's have a look at the basic attack. She's got this meat hook that looks pretty damn mean. Wow. Alright. We'll go over the perks as well. This is new Ormond, and it's quite breathtaking. Really, really good stuff. Okay, a strong pallet over here, a breakable wall here. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, people out of the basement. I get a notification in the basement. Uh, that's actually one of my perks, Hoarder. It's letting me know that someone is opening this, presumably. Oh no, that was actually, that was actually the perk from, from Elodie. Elodie, you wanna open this chest right here? See what happens. So uh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, mind you, she's using her perk, appraisal, to find a second item. That's pretty cool. That's one of the perks of the survivors. All right. It's bug. Yeah. Okay. You're too close. You might be right. Hmm. The perk is blocked right now. It said so in the notes. Okay. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. Now, can we see the new perk in the locker, maybe? Can they fast vault a locker? Or uh, fast use a locker? And then run away? Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh, she did do it! Look, no scratch marks. For three seconds. It's like a dance with me, basically. We can see the description here. That's deception. You make the locker open up. So if you're- let's say that I was a spirit. And I chase a survivor, and I see the locker open. I don't know if they're actually in the locker, or if they just faked it and they're now running away. Unless I listen to for footsteps very carefully. And power struggle should be pretty interesting. We can try to test this perk as well, and then we've seen all of them from the survivor side. So with power struggle, if they've already struggled a third of the way, actually a fourth of the way, they can drop a pallet if I walk through it. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, maybe Myron doesn't have it. Alright. That's what happens when you lose a survivor. Hold up. Let's do it to someone that has it. Okay, I think Aventic has it. Okay. So we'll let her wiggle out a little bit. So that she, Right now she cannot do it. She needs to get to 25%. There should be a pallet here, right? Let's go find it. So what happens if you walk through it with the survivor on your back? There you go! That was her! All by herself! Cool pallet breaking animation. Alright, it's time to see... Um, our own perks, and then we'll get to the power. Uh, guys, work on the generators a little bit, yep. I want you to work on multiple if that's okay. 
Yeah, please work on three generators. I want to kick... I want to test the... I want to test all the perks. So the first perk on this killer is pretty simple. Uh, basically, you get notified... You get notified when... When they work on... On chests. And there's more chests, but they don't have good stuff. That one, you know, it's very simple to explain. This oppression one, I think, is insanely powerful. So, they've worked on three generators now. I hope they'll stop working on them now. And we have... We brought the perk surveillance to test it. Let's see. So as you can see, they were working on that one. So it didn't go back, but it worked on that. It worked on this and it worked on this. I literally kicked three gens with just one kick. It does have a big cooldown, but that's still insanely good. Will be very good with surveillance. Look at that, no scratch marks. Oh, now there are. Yeah, that seems pretty, pretty naughty. Uh, our final perk is... Coup de Grasse. Which is basically a double lunge. This is a normal killer lunge. All the killers have the same lunge, regardless of their speed. But when they finish a generator... Go ahead, finish it. You get one token. And with for each token, you can do a double lunge, basically. Let's see what that looks like. Again, this is a normal... This is a normal lunge. Normal lunch. Normal attack. Okay. We get a token. Alright. Okay, let's see. That looked a bit funny. It didn't seem like it went too fast, but it definitely went further. We'll test that a bit more, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps if another gen can be finished. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my god, it does go for a long while. <laughs> yeah, I imagine this could be a bit crazy on some killers. Uh, it's a bit... Yeah, it doesn't go super fast, as you'd expect, but it, it does go very far. It could be pretty crazy, honestly. We'll get to it. It does seem like a more interesting fire-up. So, yeah, I think that's all of it for perks. Now, how about we check out the actual killer power? Alright. Unbind Vector. So you can switch, by the way. Control your lot. So, near Victor, I will find survivors like this. Don't you dare do that! Ah! My little baby! Okay. Uh, so basically, Victor acts as a bit of a radar. But you can actually control him as well. Alright, uh, he's out of the respawn. Let's let him out again. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna charge the pounds and hit someone. And now I go back. And this person is broken, does not hear my terror radius, and cannot open lockers or leave through the exit gates. Which gives this killer a bit of an endgame surprise. She's gonna try to get rid of it. Did you take that long? And there you go, that's my... My little baby brother, dead. Well, you know, I think this killer's all gonna be all about how good you can you can do with this. You can also just control the baby, just hide it somewhere. And switch back. And any survivors that are nearby should be detected. Alright. Let's see how that goes. Oh, look! That's right! It only detects them if they run. It's like a motion sensor. Alright. So I can't attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like a huntress where you need to hold it and release it. Gotcha. And okay. Yeah, this is a really strange killer, but anyway, let's read through the power again, see if we're missing anything. So we know that he regrows on us. We know that he can pounce. We don't know what it's like when we miss, so. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna check that. How about that? Very well. Release the baby! Now I miss. And... Okay, I'm- I'm fine. It's like a second. And... Okay, I did not realize he could leap like that. What in the hell? Okay, that is actually really crazy, dude. 
Okay. What in the world? Okay. I mean, that's pretty nutty. <laughs> can survivors stun the baby with a pallet? That's a good question. I think they can. They can't even blind him, I'm afraid. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But we can check. Alright, we're also gonna check the Mori. Alright. Um, mind the child! Alright. Come to here. Alright. Let's, uh, let's test this out in a pallet, maybe. But yeah, she's gonna try to get rid of it. And we'll get it back. You gonna try to get rid of it? <laughs> what happened to the to the little wee baby? Yeah, the Ormond has changed. There used to be a hill here, I think. They've changed things around a bit, haven't they? Where's the baby? I guess it's growing inside me. Is he? What is he? I think they yeeted him out somewhere. Oh, oh what is he doing here? Oh no! Alright, okay, probably not an intended feature. Alright. I imagine if I down her, he will return back to us. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's let's hook her as well. <laughs> Alright, that's really funny. I imagine a, a bug though. Alright, let's see if they can stun me as a baby. Okay. I think that you cannot use your power next to hooks to avoid camping, by the way. Oh, it kills him! Oh, that's really good to know. Alright, how about we check the Mori then? Alright guys, please step away. Don't don't get in the camera or anything nasty, alright? I'm going to hold up. Let you guys see all of this. That was a really fast one. Pretty simple stuff, but it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think of that? Yeah? <laughs> 3 out of 10? I think it's alright. Not the best one we've seen, but pretty good. Yup! I love it. I personally really, really like it. So, haven't seen all of that. Uh, oh, yeah! How about she, if she's behind a window? Let's try this. Can you guys be behind the window? Alright. I'm on the other side though. I think you can pull that off, honestly. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay, that is... Quite crazy. The thing though is that once you hit a survivor, your body, you know, as Charlotte, might be really far off, so... That's gonna be really interesting. You wanna go through the window so we can see the grab animation? Is the more different if you don't have the baby? I'm pretty sure it responds back. But who knows? Who knows? We could actually try it. I'm sure it will respond back. Alright. I'm buying Victor. We're gonna send him off. We're gonna go back to Claudette. I mean, sorry, to Charlotte. And now we're gonna try to more. It is different! Oh my god! And it's a lot more brutal! This is what the new hatch looks like, by the way. They made uh, they made changes to how it looks. Okay! Well, that's insane! Come here, mama! Ah! That's actually pretty cool! Yeah, dude! Okay! That's amazing! Hello? Can you blind Victor? I believe you can, yes. I believe you can. I don't know if he gets stunned, but I think you can blind him. What? Okay, man. What the hell? That is so brutal. Alright, with that, I think we've seen everything, right? Now we're probably... We're probably in the business of seeing the add-ons and all. So, okay. Thank you all for watching that together with us. Bye-bye. While the entity takes them, if you guys want to take a screenshot... Um, here it is. Goodbye. These are all the perks in this chapter. 
Obviously, it's a PTV, so they could be changed. Um, and this is the killer power, in case you want to have a final peek. We're now going to go over the add-ons, and then we'll read the lore as well. That's pretty nutty, dude. I really like the concept of this killer. One of the most original ones since maybe Plague. And goodness me, that's going to be fun. Yeah. So new survivor perks don't seem super impactful, but they do seem very fun. And they seem like the kind of perks that will spice up gameplay every now and then, like head-on uh, did, you know? So I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm really, really excited. Now, let's have a look at the add-ons now that we do what everything does. We're going to start with the brown ones. There's always four, then, you know, it goes up. A toy sword. Slightly decreases the time to charge a pound. That seems like a good one for a brown. Because, you know, this skill is probably gonna, it's gonna be much about hitting those bounces. Moderately decreases the time for Victor to separate from Charlotte. Um, I imagine that's also really good. Slightly increases the radius of Victor's shrieks. The shrieks is like, it's like the Legion uh, Feral Frenzy, basically, when, when his stereo radius makes him find people. So I guess this will make it so that you can find survivors more easily by giving it, a, giving it a better range. Remember, however, that you only find survivors if, if they're standing still, it doesn't work. They need to move. Displace the target location of a pound. Uh, seems like it could be a fun uh, add-on to learn. Kind of like the play flannel on Nurse, the cat figurine. Madeline's glove. A glove once owned by the twin's mother. During the desperate times, it was held over Victor's mouth to keep him from making a peep. Moderately increases the radius of Victor's shrieks. Same, but more. Slightly increases the time needed for a survivor to crush Victor. <laughs> that's, sick. that's so funny. Victor's shrieks stop when Pounce is fully charged. Oh, so you can use this as a stealth of sorts. That actually is pretty huge. Assuming that the little baby doesn't emit a terror radius, you can charge and then go around a corner and meh, latch yourself onto a survivor working in the generator. Seems like a decent one for a yellow. We'll see how good it is. The Bloody Black Hood. A hood from one of the men that hunted Charlotte. Soon he became the prey. Slightly decreases the time it takes for Charlotte to be awoken from her dormant state. That's when you shoot back. Good stuff. So I should remove Victor's silver from the blindness status effect for 15 seconds. Uh, blindness is not so good, but for a yellow, it could be uh, it could be all right. Uh, oh, we got a friend coming in. Go ahead. A weighty rattle, a shadowly uh, carved rattle that Victor cried over until his mother stole it from him. Uh, stole it. Oh, until his mother stole it for him. It's entirely too heavy to be trusted to a child. Uh, survivors will remove Victor's silver from the broken status effect for 20 seconds. To make sure they don't heal very quickly after being uh, latched onto. Nice. Stale biscuit. A hard, uneven biscuit that Madeleine stoned from a town's market. It wasn't much, but it was better than most meals. Slightly decreases the cooldown of pounds. Good. Seaward sludge. Disgusting, sticky mixture that covers the DSAs. That's the Zayas. French, forgive me. That's the family. During an escape attempt through the city sewers. Slightly increases the time it takes for a survivor to remove Victor. So this is like the filthy blade on Legion. It's just delaying. Pretty good stuff. A needle Madeline used to sew up her children's tattered clothes. So I was to remove Victor's silver from the hemorrhage that is effect until healed. I've always thought that hemorrhage is really bad. Maybe one day hemorrhage will be reworked and all these add-ons will be good. This one doesn't seem like a great one, though. Uh, good for you to catch on, dude, because if you know where the survivor is and you're far away, you need to catch up. So maybe a bit more useful than hemorrhage on some other killers. Madeline's scarf. I called Madeline word surely before her death. The twins kept it as a memento. Slightly increases Victor's speed. Seems good. Victor's Soldier. If a survivor crushes Victor while he's idle, their aura is revealed for 6 seconds. Oh, okay. Moderately increases the time. This is just on the spinning stone. Moderately increases the time it takes for a survivor to remember Victor. Same, just stall. Forest 2. Moderately increases Victor's speed. This one can be really good. Maybe they won't be necessary if he's out of there very fast. And we also have the Drop of Perfume. Survivors within the terror... Otterios of Victor Shrieking suffer from the Oblivious status effect. Uh. Silencing Cloth. One of the ultra rares. A Charlotte is granted the undetectable status effect for 12 seconds after waking from her idle stare. That is actually really so... That sounds really good. If you get assaulted by the little child, and then this girl approaches for 12 seconds without a terror radius, that seems pretty nice, actually. Uh, ultra rare level? We won't know. The iridescent pendant, a glass-like pendant molded from the bog itself. If a survivor crushes Victor while he's idle, they suffer from the exposed status effect for 12 seconds. Oh shit. So it's basically a lose-lose. If you try to punish the killer for missing a, a pound with the with Victor, you could be going down. 12 seconds doesn't seem like a long time though, so it doesn't seem immediately 
super strong. Uh, Victor Moy, there's a the baby can kill. Hmm. Hmm. You guys want to test that? Is that what we want to see? We can see. All right, we'll go. We'll go and check it. Dispel this rumor. In the meantime, we can also see the new map. Uh, there's a lot of new reworked maps here, I think. Let's go to Azeroth. Why not? They've reworked Ormond and also the... Test it? Alright, we'll test it then. I think you guys are crazy. There can't be three Moris, come on. What happens if they try to leave? Uh, they, they just won't be able to, guys. It's my guess. I also see if it incapacitates the Hajj. Okay, okay, we can try it, we can try it. How high can the baby jump? Very high, it seems. Can Victor attack over down pallets? I would think so, but we don't know. We can try that as well. Hmm. Hi, Rumo. Can't repeat without Baby Mori, I missed that one. Don't worry, guys. Everything we're doing right now is being recorded, and it's gonna be on YouTube in literally minutes, so that we can all go back and see everything and, and have it there for, for the record. You can't attack over down pallets. Yeah, it seems like he can go over windows, so why would he not be able to go over pallets, right? How far can the baby flank himself on a hill at a high place? Uh, sometimes maps have this invisible walls. Let's have the perks on screen if you guys are curious. Have invisible walls that protect you from, like, jumping fur further. But if it's like Demogorgon, probably very far. Hmm. Does she have simple skins? We'll see the skins after this as well. People can down injure people. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. So far, we haven't done it, but yeah, he can. Maybe we can try to see that and see what it looks like. I think Calm Spirit will protect you from Victor's detection. No, uh, Calm Spirit protects you from screaming perks like Infectious Fright. But Killer Instinct does not uh, go away with Calm, uh, with Calm Spirit. It does not go away against Legion, against any other kill that has come, uh, you know, Killer Instinct. Does Victor work like Big Setrap? No, no, it doesn't kill you, it just prevents you, I'm gonna guess. Alright. Ooh, looking interesting, isn't it? Ooh, the lining is so pretty. Wow, they actually did listen and kept the tine, the, the, the green tint of the map. This is new Azerops, by the way. It's now actually a proper office. Very simple. Oh, that's what the perk looks like. I see. Go away! My baby will have you! Oh, so I can keep going? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah! And now I switch. There you go. Easy like that. Oh, can't see? Oh, forgive me, guys. I'm an idiot. But yeah, basically... <laughs> uh, basically, there's... Um... You guys try to get a flashlight. Uh, if you hit a survivor that's healthy, uh, you latch onto them, but if they're out of the injured, uh, you down them and you can keep going. Forgive me for that. <laughs> I think it should be good now. Cheers, all. I forgot I had it on. Alright, let's try it again. Okay. And is there a Mori for the baby? There's no Mori for the baby. However, we can... We can do this again, and have the baby as a witness. Miki, can you turn around a bit? So the baby's like watching? There you go. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man, this map looks really gorgeous. It actually looks a lot more like a... It looks so cool, actually. It looks more like a, a compressed junkyard. Yeah, I love it. All right. Oh, yeah. See, that's what it looks like when they're searching a chest. I think. Oh, that's when they pick up an item. Oh, they found a key. Cool. So, can we drop this pallet over here, maybe? Do we have a pallet anywhere that we can test? Let's test this perk again. Hello. Mm. 
He could, she could crush me while I'm flashing red. Okay, drop this pallet. Do it. <laughs> Ouch. Maybe I was a bit too far. Yup. There you go. Now she can crush me. That is so cool, dude. I can't believe it. All right. Does the the child comes back? And again with the child. Whoop. The more is a the more is slightly different. How how can, how high can he go? Uh, let's try it. Seems like relatively high. Let's see if we can heat ourselves through the window in there by going up this uh, hill. Okay. Oh, there's no. Uh, yeah, there's the window. Okay. What if you jump while looking straight up? You literally cannot look. This is all the this is all the movement I can do. It's like Billy, who can look up or down while using the chainsaw. You kind of look higher up or further down than that. Me thinks. I'm looking as high as I can. Wow, dude, that's pretty nutty. All right, I think that covers pretty much everything. Now the next thing we could do is see if they have uh, any cosmetics on release that we can check. It does feel like demo, yeah, but even more because demo goes in a straight line. This one actually has a bit of an arc, so that looks really cool. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. We're gonna be play testing and having some matches as this killer soon. Uh, first, though, let's check the store, see if they have anything. On the PTV, it's not common for them to have uh, skins, though, so don't be surprised if there's nothing at all. Yeah, there's nothing at all. We could maybe, maybe see the Prestige 1 weapon if we spend all of our points, but. <laughs> I don't think we could get to the Prestige 2 body, but you guys can imagine what it's like. Just a little bit of blood here. Alright. But yeah, we'll be seeing that, and we'll be seeing the other Outer Haven maps, and we'll be seeing everything. But I think that's it for the basics of this killer. I think we saw everything. Right? Yeah, the only thing we're missing, of course, is the story. And... It's a bit of a long one. You guys can screenshot it if you want to. Uh, we'll be reading it in a minute, but probably not for this video. But yeah, looks super cool. Can't wait to try it out some more. And can't wait to see what it's like by the time it releases in the live servers. Very, very original concept. Also, final chance to say hello to YouTube, because this is going to go on YouTube in literally one minute. So say hi, mom, right now. And also send her a text, you fiend. And another one to your grandma. <laughs> All right. Wonderful stuff. Thank you so much for watching.